Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another Red Hot Cover Call video. Hey, look, in this video, we are gonna talk about three leveraged ETFs that I absolutely love to use when I sell premium. But this just isn't a list. These are ones that I use. And what I need you to know before we move on, this year, 2024, it is now September 23rd. Since the beginning of the year, I've used these three ETFs to the tune of $65,000 and I have no drawdown on any of these three ETFs you're about to hear. In fact, I have a couple trades on right now. I'm going to show you in this video. So, hey, look, if you like anything you hear today, I want you to subscribe to the channel. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. Now, what I'm doing is this. I am talking about these ETFs that I use. They are three of the best ETFs and they're leveraged. So we can get 3x the juice. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When you're in the selling premium game, it's all about making max profit on the premium. You could have the basic covered call where you buy the shares, you let it go a little higher, you have them taken away, and when you combine the stock move and the premium you got, that would be a nice 3% or more, which would be a good 30-day covered call. Well, as you get better in this game and you're writing covered calls and doing cash secure puts to generate hella premium so you could buy dividend paying stocks like I am, we want to jack up the premiums so we can make more money. And that's what we do. We don't want to buy high volatile stocks just because of the IV. I know many people that will buy stocks they have never heard of just because of the IV. They could buy a $7 stock and get a $1 premium and life is good until they get wrecked and that stock actually falls. They get stuck in it and they got to take a loss. That's why we don't use those kind of stocks at my membership. Not at all. We use indexes and what we do is we leverage up the index, right? If I'm going to use the QQQ, then I'm going to write a cover call on the T. QQQ, because that gives me 3x the leverage, 3x the premium. Now, before we get into this video, what I need you to do is remove the word risk from volatility, okay? Just because something is volatile does not mean it's risky. So many times I get people saying, man, I can't trade TNA because it's too risky. And I say, well, why is it risky? Well, it moves up and down and, and I can't handle it. It's too risky. And I always ask them, what is it investing in? What is TNA? And it's the Russell 2000. And I say, if you think the Russell 2000 is a risky investment, then yes, you should not be investing in TNA. All we're looking at is volatility, man. Give me the more volatile and I'll take that trade every single day of the week because that's what we want. Volatility. Now we want to reduce our risk. So we want to reduce single stock risk. Instead of going out and buying Coinbase or NVIDIA or SMCI to get all that fat IV so we make all those fat premium profits, how about using an index like TNA? And we can use the index, which is a basket of stocks, and it just moves 3x or more volatile, right? Volatility does not equal risk. You know, you have to get over that. And if you can't get over it, good luck. Go ahead and play all the 1X ETFs, make your 3%. I wish you the best of luck. But if you absolutely want to up your game and make more premium, well, you're going to have to use the leveraged ETFs. Now, I'm going to tell you, before we get into this, we're almost there. We're almost there. Hang with me. I'm going to tell you, every single stock is going to have a 2X leverage ETF. Every single one. They're already coming out. There's a new company coming out uh, where they're going to give 18 new stocks with 2X leverage ETFs. And they're going to be volatile. But see, what you're going to find is that people are going to trade those, not the underlying stock. Because if they believe in the underlying stock, such as Coinbase, well, Coinbase is going to give you some nice volatility. Stock's going to move up and down. But what if you could trade a 2X version of that? where you're getting twice as much the volatility. And if you get good entry points, well, then you're going to have a more favorable move. And instead of just moving 1x, you're going to move 2x. And uh, oh, by the way, this is another thing I'm telling you. 
I'm telling you right now, these ETFs coming out are priced considerably cheaper. They're, they're not cheap, but they're considerably more inexpensive. Right now, Coinbase is going to cost you 170 per share. You got to have 17000 to get in the game. It's 2x leverage ETF only cost you 23 bucks right now. So where you couldn't get involved with Coinbase if you didn't have 17 grand, you can get involved with its 2x leverage ETF, Coinal. Telling you now, 2x leverage ETF is going to be the name of the game when we sell premium. Why? You get 2x the premium and that's what you're looking for. And if you understand the game, meaning you're trading the underlying using as a surrogate stock the 2x leverage ETF version, telling you, you're going to go from making money to making hella jack in the same amount of time. I'm just telling you, that's what's going to happen. I've already included AMD's 2x leverage ETF, AMDL, NVIDIA's, NVDL, and we're using Coinbase, C-O-N-L. Telling you now, I'd rather use the 2x leverage ETF versions of these things so we can make double the premiums. You could copy all the trades I'm going to talk about by signing up to my membership. So I want you to consider that while you're watching me go through these ETFs that I use. I make tons of money largely because I find great entry points and we stick to the plan. Anybody that's a member of mine, they absolutely know I'm trading this money in retirement. I can't lose. So I work trades until I'm green. And that is what we do. And a lot of people now are very open about copying my trades. They always hit me up an email asking me about a particular trade because they're copying the trade. They know I've literally bought a thousand shares of, let's say, BidX, and I'm trading it. And there's the covered call or there's the cash secure put. And they get emails when I open the trade and close the trade so they know what to do. That's what happens. People follow my trades and apparently they're making good money. At the end of the day, it's all about seeing the world through my eyes. And if you want to do that, go to cpt-board.com, cpt-board.com. Get your one free month. Prices are going up October 1st. TNA is the 3X leverage ETF to the Russell 2000 small cap. Okay. It's beautiful because it has so much volume and open interest. Okay, when you try to get your covered calls to sell or you want to cash a cure put, you do need open interest for all the strike prices. Well, with this bad boy having 2.6 billion in assets, we got a lot of volume. And this thing moves a lot of volume, man. 14 million a day. You're going to get in and out and you're not going to have to go in 5 to 10 cent increments like you might with yen. Okay, I love yen, but I hate the 5 cent increments on the bids and ask. TNA, you're going to get anything. You put it in for a penny, you'll get it. I love TNA because it has a lot of volume, a lot of open interest, and it's 3X. 3X means we get 3X the premiums. But here's what I really like about it. This thing trades in such a bankable range. And I've told you for years, we always need to identify a stock or an ETF's sandbox. And if you can do that, you will make money all day long trading the sandbox. And it does not take a rocket science to say, if I get involved with TNA at the bottom of its range, we can catch that and run it to the top of its range and uh, get out and not get involved up here. See, a lot of what allows me to win in the stock market is this. I don't get baited into trading up here, okay? We are not buying up here. We are waiting for when it tests this bottom. You know, I've talked about this all the time. We use the Keltner channel to identify when we're going to get involved. And it's always in its range. If I'm looking at the Keltner channel, which is a stock's trading range, and yes, that's pretty damn obvious, I am not going to be getting involved at the top of the range. I'm going to get involved where it's trading in and around the Keltner channel mid. And if it dips below that, then that's a clear buy signal for me. And you can see TNA lives at the midline. You can bank on that all day long. Whether it's trading above the midline, we know to get involved at the midline. If it's trading under the midline, well, we know that that would be resistance. So you buy under or near the bottom of the Keltner channel mid. Now, of course, it has moved tremendously with this current stock market. This is why I want to mention TNA now, because I get this question all the time. How do you trade TNA right now? 
Well, TNA now has a new sandbox. It's going to trade above 40 for most of the year. Why? They are cutting interest rates. And when they cut interest rates, small business can access money to grow their business so they can expand. The Russell 2000 small cap is small business. TNA is the 3X leveraged ETF to that. This is your new sandbox. So look for the mid to now be that more favorable opportunity to get involved with TNA. So anytime I'm going to get involved with TNA in the near future, I am going to use cash secure puts at the 41 to 40 mark. That is the new sandbox. And it'll probably trade between 40 and 48. It's not in the 30s anymore. We were able to make hella jack when it was in the 30s. But that isn't there anymore. That game's over. Now it's going to be the 40s because the Fed's going to cut rates. And that means small business has access to money. They're going to grow their business. TNA's new range is going to be anywhere between 39 and 47. We trade it between those numbers. And if it dips below 39, hey, we're going to go to that table and eat as much as we can. That's how I'm going to play TNA. Now the Semiconductor 3X Leverage ETF is beautiful. It has 12 billion in assets. They love this thing. Why do they love this thing? Because this thing holds all the big ones. You can see it right there. NVIDIA, AMD, Qualcomm, Broadcom. Look, this thing owns all of them. So right now the semiconductor business is rocketing because of AI. You know, they're saying AI, we're only in the first or second inning of AI. And we just got the word that Microsoft and NVIDIA and all these companies are going to throw 30 billion bucks at hardware. So anything related to AI is going to get a push. Well, instead of having single stock risk, I'm going to use SOXL because I get a basket of stocks, a basket of the best stocks in this sector, and we're going to use it. And it's 3X leverage. And look at that tremendous volume. You will get every single bid ask that you put out. Always try to use the mid. We have volume. We have open interest. We can get in and out of these trades. Uh, again, not giving up a nickel one way or the other. The reason I want to show you this bad boy, and by the way, I currently have a cash secure put open. You can see it right here. Did a thousand shares. Pick the 31 strike. We are going to talk about that 31 strike right now. There's a reason for it, and I'm going to tell you. Recently, it's had this double bottom. Now, that has little to do with the semiconductor industry. What it had to do with the NASDAQ selling off nasty. And you can see that's in and around 25. So recently, we played that 25 like a fiddle. Actually, 29, then got involved to 27. But we knew at 25, we're going to be good. And we're going to be able to get involved at 25. And because this thing is a 3x leverage, we can still write a covered call at 26 or 27, get out of the trade. Well, sure enough, that's exactly what happened. But what I want to show you is this. Why did I pick the 31 strike? Well, basically, you could see it recently bounced off of 31, and if you just go back to May, that's where it bounced last, but if you go back to December, this is where it breaks resistance, and when the market is popping, this would be an all-time high in the near term, look what it does. It rallies, and when it comes back, where does it come back? It comes back to about 31. 31 is where it broke resistance, so it rallies again. NVIDIA is exploding. Everything's exploding. It falls off. Where does it fall off on its very first bounce? You can see it right there. The NASDAQ continues to fall. So SOXL's getting clobbered. This sell-off in XOXL has everything to do with the NASDAQ dropping thousands of points. I'm looking at where did it find any sort of support? And what I'm going to tell you is as it's tumbling, it's First level of support was in and around 37. Then it falls through 31. There is no saving it at this point, And it finds itself at 25. We get a rally. Then it peels back to 25. That's beautiful. Because now 25 becomes a place we can play with. So what's its sandbox? Because remember, every single stock has a sandbox. And we play the sandbox. Okay, we open this bad boy up. What do you see? I'll tell you what I see. I see 
SOXL is going to play in a sandbox of 25 at the low, but for the most part, 31 is your number. That's why I picked the 31 strike. This is what I really like. If I'm assigned the shares at 31, I know that it can tumble actually two more points to 29 and I can get off a 31 covered call and get out of the trade. See, at the membership, I tell everybody, we do one trade and that's the first one, the cash secure put, the 31 strike, but you have to have a second trade lined up. And the second trade would be, if it tumbled to 29, we're gonna get that covered call, get out at our cost basis at 31. You always have two trades dialed up and you hope you don't have to do the second trade, which would mean the first one is knocking it down. Now, recently looking at SOXL, you could see I used the 26 strike, the 29 strike, and I absolutely love it. Then I was assigned to shares, did the 2750 strike. So for me, this range between 29 and 31, pretty darn bankable. So this is why I love SOXL, all the big companies, all this money's flowing into tech and you know the semiconductors with AI probably going to move higher. But even if it didn't move higher, we now have a new trading range for this ETF. 25 is the low and you could probably bank 42 is the high. So the way I see it, because this thing really moves, I'm going to feel comfortable between 29 and 39. That's what I'm looking at, 29.39. I'll play it all day long and we'll sit back and see what the new range is if it goes either way. Now, Bitcoin is my newest fan favorite. I'm gonna tell you why, because Bitcoin actually trades in a range. Nobody talks about it. I have been for the past three months knocking it down with BitX. And when we look at my trades on BitX, you could see them over here. They're all over the place. Why are they all over the place? Because I believe I know Bitcoin's trading range. And I love it because I use it and I do it. We don't just talk here. I actually do it. And that's a lot of money made over there. Look at this. We got 550, 1200 there. We got 900 there. I'll tell you what, at the end of the day, you could have followed all those trades. CPTdashboard.com. Hey, get your one free month offer, follow the trades, copy the trades, do whatever you want. Now this thing has $1.5 billion in asset. I don't really mind. It's a 2X leverage ETF to Bitcoin. It has 6 million in volume. I love it. It kicks down a little dividend. Surprisingly, this thing throws out a 62 cent dividend per month. Now that can fluctuate, but for the most part, that's what it does. This thing, I love it because it is a 2X leverage ETF to Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin moves 1X, this thing moves 2X. We can see the range. Bitcoin hit an all-time high when the ETFs had to load up on it. And Bitcoin has been in a downdraft since then. Notice the ranges. We can bank on the ranges. Even if this thing is moving lower, you can see the trading ranges. And I love this thing because Bitcoin's trading range, if you're asking me, is between 54K and 65K in the near term. We know that it can get up 70,000 and it has in the past three months. But Bitcoin moves just like this. It rallies above 70, comes back down to the mid 50s, rallies to the upper 60s, back down to around 54,000, back up to 63,000, back down to 54. That's what it does. So BIDX being a 2X leverage ETF, we were using that 22 strike. The 22 strike represents Bitcoin at 54K. We were lighting it up when this thing was getting anywhere near 22 and look what it did. It bounces off of that twice. And now you can see Bitcoin starting to make a new run. Uh, my guess, if this is 70,000, I believe Bitcoin does make it to about 67 to 68,000. Hey, I don't know where it goes. I have no crystal ball, but we trade the range. This is the sandbox. And uh, I tell you what, I love the 2X version of that. I have for all the members, a 2X leverage ETF calculator where you could plug in Bitcoin's price and you could plug in BIDX and you'll get to see the cash secure put that you would want to put when Bitcoin's trading at a certain price. I use it all the time. That's how I came up with these numbers using the 22 strike on BIDX when Bitcoin was trading in and around 55 and 54,000. We can make hella jack. With these 3X levers ETFs, I do it all the time. Let's go through this real quick. 
This is what you're looking at. You're looking at this column right here. This is just this year using these three ETFs. And you can see the profits are incredible. Oh, by the way, you could also see the buyback column. The buyback column is the red. I'm going to give you a little tip. You never try to reach for the tippy top. You take what the market gives you. Okay, I've seen so many people get burnt when they don't take the profits that are laid out before them. That's what I do. I put trades on. Max profit looking beautiful. But at the end of the day, if I could stack 13 crisp $100 bills on the table, just like I did on this trade, I do it. And we move on. That is what we do. We make money. We move on. A lot of times people criticize me. I take profits way too soon. But you know what? One in the hands better than two in the bush. We stack mad chips. Now I'm going to give you that dividend paying stock right now. But go to cpt-board.com, get your one free month offer. Know that if you were thinking about getting in on the monthly, that goes away October 1st. And this price, no more. So what I need you to do, go to cpt-board.com, click upgraded dashboard, get your one free month, get it. You will be grandfathered into this price for as long as you keep your membership. Now, the dividend paying stock that I'm buying right now, you can see it right here. It's called QQQT. Now, I'm going to tell you why I'm buying that. And notice, every time I get covered call profits, I buy an equal number of QQQT. This is my dividend tree, and I share this with the members every single trade. And you could actually see, every time I have a profit, I will go ahead, and in this column right here, you could see when I pick up shares. I'm always buying dividend paying stocks for that passive income, right? Passive income is truly the way you can retire because now you have your money working for you. Well, let's write cover calls, sell cash, secure puts, make all that premium. And then what we do is have that money make money. That's what we do. It's what I preach at the membership. QQQT is my favorite right now. And I'm going to tell you why. Now, I'm not going to spend much time on this because uh, I got a whole video that I gave the members of QQQT and why we're buying it. QQQT uses the NASDAQ. They write weekly covered calls. And what they do to maintain the NAV is actually buy the underlying asset. So they're using ETFs that trade the NASDAQ, which is powered by all the stocks we just talked about in the SOXL ETF but yet they buy the underlying asset. They're not creating a synthetic trade like those other ones are that lose their nav, right? They pay two bucks and it's a $19 stock. And next thing you know, it's $17 and then $15 and everybody's freaking out when it's trading for $10, yet they were given all that cash. This bad boy pays about 33 cents a month per share. And I'm telling you what, you just don't notice you don't notice the, any nav erosion when they're paying 33 cents a month. Now what you do is you write a ton of covered calls, you take all that profit, and you accumulate, like me, over 1,500 shares. So you can generate almost $500 a month. And you could do this time and time and time again. This is what I do, and I do it very well. I love QQQT right now, and if you are interested in seeing my dividend trees, you know where to find me. We buy dividend paying stock with our cover call premiums so we can build wealth. That's what it's all about here. Building wealth. These were my three favorite ETFs that I use to sell premium. Right cover call, sell cash, secure puts. I told you why I like them and why I trade them. We take most of that money and we buy dividend paying stocks like QQQT to generate passive dividend income. We go from the trade mindset to the wealth mindset, just like that. Hey, look, stick with me if you want to hang with a real trader that's in retirement, funding his retirement using covered call writing and cash secure put selling, dividend stock buying. That's what we do here. That's what I encourage you to do as well. Hey, look, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.